Hi, Judy. I'm Bethany Smith with Lost in Reviews. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to South By. So tell me a little bit about Martha and what drew you to this character. Um, I was excited to work with Natasha and I felt like the um, casting was unusual for both of us. So I thought it'd be a fun opportunity to play something against type for me. Great. And you're playing a sex addict in this film, which is definitely against type for you. Uh, how did you prepare for that role? Um, you know, I read some books. I talked to some people. I looked up a lot on the internet. The internet's a pretty great place. Not, I wouldn't suggest for Googling sex addiction because you get a lot of stuff. Anytime you Google anything with the word sex in it, you got to be careful. But um, I eventually <laughs> found my way to some helpful sites. And uh, is there something you learned from this movie, kind of researching all the, the unusual addictions? Oh, well, I mean, I guess not to sound naive, but I didn't realize that there was such a thing as love addiction, and that was something that I uh, read a lot about. It, they kind of go hand in hand, the sex and love addiction, and just like, and that was fascinating to me. Great. Well, you have a big year. Congratulations, yeah. and thank you. Thank you. Hi, Natasha. Hi. Uh, my name is Bethany. I'm, I'm with Lost in Review. Sorry, I'm really tall. <laughs> um, so in this movie, you're playing Martha, the younger sister to, to Judy Greer's character, um, but you kind of act as the uh, older sister in a lot of ways. You kind of care for her when she gets out of rehab. Um, what was what was that like? Do you have any uh, family relationships that you kind of draw on for that? And uh, how did you change throughout this movie as the kind of mentor character? Um, top stick. Um, <laughs> Trying to keep my suspenders in place, but it's just not going to happen, is it? <laughs> you know, um, I don't know that I was uh, necessarily drawing on family members so much as just, uh, I don't know what. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, she's, you know, the, uh, the troublemaker, the addict, and uh, I'm the codependent responsible one. I'm the caretaker. And you worked with Jamie before in But I'm a Cheerleader, which also deals with some similar subjects in terms of addiction and family Jamie, family issues. Jamie Babbitt notoriously loves rehabilitation facilities. <laughs> and she is determined, uh, the next film we're going to make together, oh. I actually run the center. Great. And what movie is that? Can we announce that yet? Um, <laughs> well, right, the working title, it's sort of a bummer because it's already been used, but the working title is Fight Club. And <laughs> it's, uh, it's an anger management rehab. And mostly it's just like really violent, but because I run the place, I'm the most violent, you know? And I scream at all the patients when they're trying to get better. And I'm like, get better quicker. And it's, it's awesome. It's a, um, a romantic comedy, Fantastic. obviously. <laughs> and uh, lies, lies. <laughs> this is Jamie Babbitt. So you, she can you. let you know Ready? that it's true. Bye guys. And, um, we're just really excited. We're excited for this film, Fresno, and we're excited for all our other films. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Bethany. I'm with Lost in Reviews. It's nice to meet you, Carrie. Uh, so, you're the writer, um, but I also heard that there's a lot of improv. You're working with a great comedic staff. Where does kind of, how do you kind of men, like meld together those two worlds where writing and improv, where they, where one begins and the other ends? Um, well, I've, I've uh, been writing on for, for Portlandia for about four years now and that show is highly improv so I'm used to that process of having a script and then just having it once you're shooting being comfortable with letting the actors kind of do their thing if they want to and changing things up so it's I'm very comfortable with it and I we had such great comedic actors in the movie all of them so uh, we made a choice to make sure we got like really funny people <laughs> that, that, that can improv and so it was actually pretty pretty easy. Great. And can you kind of tell me about uh, just your writing process and where your inspiration for this story came from? Uh, my inspiration, I have an older sister, so uh, I knew I wanted to do something uh, about kind of a messed up relationship. Not that we have one, but it, it uh, so basically my sister, our, our, our relationship, and kind of I imagined what it would be like if we were still living together in a small town and uh, just kind of were codependent on each other and, and not being able to break away from your family. It's kind of what it's about. Um, about breaking away and that being a good thing. Great. Thank you so much. So I'm going to have you come down here. <laughs> I'll be fast. Hi, I'm Bethany. I'm with Lost in Reviews. It's nice to meet you. Um, so you worked with Natasha before on But I'm a Cheerleader. What was it like to work with her again and uh, what sort of future collaborations do you guys have together? Um, Natasha's awesome. Anyone who ever works with her will just want to work with her over and over again. So we met 20 years ago and I've 
just been excited to work with her ever since. And um, I consider her a friend. I consider her um, a creative collaborator. She's funny. She's smart. She's talented. And um, I have no idea what the future holds, but I'm sure she'll be in it somehow. <laughs> Fantastic. And in, but I'm a cheerleader. You had some similar subject matters, some family family tensions, um, uh, some issues with rehabilitation and, and addictions. Um, how does Fresno compare to the story in But I'm a Cheerleader? Um, if But I'm a Cheerleader was kind of about a girl who goes to rehab, Fresno is about what happens once you get out of rehab and you go back to your family and you're kind of having to adjust to the roles in your family. and. Um, it's, I would say, more about codependence, this movie. Um, still a comedy, but it's a comedic look at codependence. Perfect. Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you. Hi, Aubrey. I'm Bethany Smith of Lost and Reviews. It's nice to meet you. Um, welcome to South by Southwest. So you have a very distinct brand of humor that you're well known for. Is that something that comes out in Fresno, or is this kind of a new role for you? I have not. I don't know. I don't... Uh, I have no idea. I think this is a very different character. I've never played a character like this before, so um, I'm not sure about the brand of humor, but um, it's definitely a very different character. And can you tell me a little bit about your character? Um, I play a, a Krav Maga instructor named Kelly, um, who is Natasha Leone's love, this, he likes it, um, who's Natasha Leone's love interest. Um, so I'm a, more of a supporting character, and I have a major crush on Natasha's character. She's in my class, and um, can't tell you how it ends, because I don't know. Great, and you are actually promoting a couple of films here at South By. Uh, what's this whole experience been like for you? Um, it's been fun. I had a movie last night that premiered called Ned Rifle, um, which is a Hal Hartley movie, and um, it's a really special movie to me, so I was really excited that, it, um, that South by Southwest allowed it to open here. Yeah. Thank you so much.